This video will walk you through setting up your gradebook using the gradebook setup wizard. So if I'm in a course, I can go to grades. And then if you've never opened up your gradebook before, you will actually go right to the setup wizard. But if you have done something with the gradebook before, it will take you to this manage grades place. But I can go over here to the setup wizard to start the setup wizard. So I'll click on that. And this will give me a summary of my current settings, but I can go through this and I can adjust all these settings here. So I'm gonna click on start. And step one is to choose the grading system for the course. You can have weighted grades. So with the weighted grades, you'll have different categories and the different categories will be assigned different percentages and different weights. Um, in general, this is use if you're not going to use a straight points based system. Um, otherwise, the other option is the straight points based system where sometimes even instructors that have those category weights will still use the points based system because the points end up being, you know, those weights anyway. The point system is a little bit less complex. With a weighted system, you do have to have categories and everything categorized in your gradebook. The point system categories are optional. There is also a formula option where you can create a formula. Um, it's not something I've seen anyone use, so we'll just probably skip over that. In general, you're gonna have the weighted or the points-based system. Okay, so I'll go to continue. Uh, step two is how you're gonna release the final grade. So the final grade in Talon just basically means the overall cumulative grade. That can be a little bit confusing for students and for instructors. In the past, you did have to go in and manually release this grade every semester. You will see down here there is an option now to automatically release the final grade. So you really want to make sure this box is checked. And it should be by default if you're teaching a new course. However, if you've taught a course previous that was built previous to, I think, summer 2017, this box may not be checked because the setting copies over from semester to semester. So if you had not previously checked this box and copied a course over, you may have to go in and make sure this box is checked. This will also allow you to decide, do you want to release the calculated grade or the adjusted grade? In general, we, rec we recommend the calculated grade at least until the end of the semester. And then if you do want to make adjustments to the grade, um, you can release the adjusted grade at the end of the semester. But as you keep the overall grade updated in the course, we recommend keeping it the calculated grade. Step three allows you to decide what to do with your zeros or your ungraded items. Um, if you choose drop ungraded items, you'll need to manually enter the zeros as the students don't turn things in. And if you treat, treat ungraded items as zero, Students will see a grade that is gonna be a lot less than expecting, so you kind of have to tell them and communicate with them the mindset that the grade is what they've earned so far in the course instead of their overall grade. Um, and so just keep that in mind because that will assign zeros for assignments that have not yet been graded, but also assignments that have not yet been assigned as well. So that will put zero in for everything in the gradebook. In general, most instructors will choose drop ungraded items and then at the end of the semester, they'll come in and check the box for the treat ungraded items as zero to make sure that that is accurate. And then automatically keep final grade updated. You'll definitely wanna have this box checked because that will automatically Keep that cumulative grade column updated for student view. Step four allows you to choose the default grade scheme. In Talon, you can display points and percentages if you have a percentage grade scheme on, or you can display points and letter grade, or maybe just letter grade, or just points. If you do choose the letter grade, you can choose one of these Kirkwood Master Syllabus grading scales, either the rounding up or the no rounding. Um, you can also create your own grade scheme. So there are some programs that may have your own grade scale, or uh, you may have a grade scheme for, say, a pass-fail type assignment, or some of our uh, competency-based courses may have a separate grade scale for displaying grades to students. But this is just basically how the grade symbol or the letter grade or whatever it is you're wanting to show is going to display for students. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the Kirkwood Master Syllabus scale there as my default. And you can change this on a assignment by assignment basis. Step five, 
Managing view display options. So in your view, how many decimal places do you want to display? Uh, by default, this is gonna be two, so you can decide that. In step six, we choose the student view display options. Um, you can choose to display points grade to students. That'll just show the basic points. The grade scheme symbol is what we just talked about. That in general is gonna be either the letter grade or the percentage, depending on what scheme you have chosen. And then the color is also there that's actually also built into the grade scheme. The color, um, a lot of instructors really like that because it'll assign, if you're using that default Kirkwood grade scale, it will assign a red color to F's and a green color to A's. So it really helps instructors get a nice view of the gradebook. Um, and the feedback is that students actually like it too. So that's up to you if you want to show that. Um, what This is decimal places for the student view. And this is the number of characters for text items. Many instructors do not use text items in your gradebook. One, particular application for that might be if you're keeping grades in somewhere other than Talon, you might create a text item in the gradebook that just directs students elsewhere outside the gradebook and then this just determines how many characters that can be. So not a setting that is probably going to be widely used. The last one there, display final grade calculation to users. What this one will do is show them all the assignments that uh, go into that final or cumulative grade. So I'm going to continue there. And then my last step is just my summary. And this is going to tell me all the settings that I've set up. If that looks good, I can click on finish. And now if I want to go back in and adjust any of these, I can actually come up here to the column under settings. And I can adjust all these settings I just created. This first page here is the personal display options. Either these are the display options for the instructor and then the so nicely named org unit display options is the student view and then the calculation options the last column here is actually the deciding whether you're going to have the points versus the weighted gradebook and then that final grade information here